Hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Very nice. Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Yeah. Hello, teacher. How nice are you? Nice to see you. I'm okay. Nice. You're in my class again, Jenny. Okay. That's good. Cool. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Um, All right, vamos a esperar que sigan entrando los compañeros, que obviamente es el primer día y necesito darles instrucciones. Entonces vamos a esperar un ratito. No sé si me escuchan los que ya están acá. Sí, escuchamos. Excelente, yes, gracias. Yes, thank you, thank you, very nice. Vamos a esperar acá que nos entren más compañeros. Teacher, en yes. in, in this course, uh, uh, each class is uh, is in video conference. Yes, like before, Jennifer. Yes, the only difference, Jennifer, is that now it's two hours. Okay. Yes, but uh, in the platform, just uh, just just do. Uh huh. Doing the just we doing the the exercise. Yeah, and we also have, um, I'm going to show you the platform today, Jennifer, because it's a little bit different than the other one. Ah, uh, yes. All right. I see. So, yeah, did you see it? Yes, I see it. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, so it's a little bit different than the other one, so that's why. It's All right. Uh-huh. Before the, the video conference, uh, yes. The class of the conference and after we we need uh, do the the homework. That's right. Yes, that's that's what it is, Jennifer. There, I'm going to actually tell you what is a little bit different of this one. Okay, so I'm just going. I'm waiting for the other classmates to join the class so I can give the general uh, instructions, Jenny. Okay. All right. Very All good. Right. Thank you. Okay, guys, we're going to begin. So right now I'm going to give, I'm going to welcome you and I'm going to give the instructions in Spanish just for everybody to understand what we expect from you and what the program is about and the requirements of this um, program, okay? All right, very good. So, ah, hi, Williams. So nice to see you again, Williams. Very nice, nice. to see you too. <laughs> very nice, very good. Okay, eh, para todos y todas, buenas noches. Mi nombre es Jessica Cerritos, ¿verdad? Eh, yo soy la instructora o facilitadora del curso Avanzado 1, así que estarán conmigo las próximas eh, cinco semanas. ¿verdad? Porque son 50 horas, así es que aquí vamos a estar todas las noches de lunes a viernes. Normita, welcome. De lunes a viernes, ¿verdad? De 8 a 10 de la noche. Entonces, eso es muy importante que usted recuerde, ¿verdad? Que este es de lunes a viernes de 8 a 10. Siempre conmigo el avanzado 1. Eso es como para empezar. Uh, igual darles obviamente la cor más cordial bienvenida al programa a inglés corporativo al, pro al programa y proyecto de inglés para el trabajo financiado 100% por el INSAFOR ¿verdad? entonces una eh, algo que usted tiene que, que tomar muy en cuenta y tomar ventaja ¿verdad? porque usted está acá aprendiendo o reforzando un idioma en su casita 
¿verdad? Y eso es una gran ventaja que no tiene que andar saliendo, más como está el tiempo ahorita, entonces desde su casita todo conectado súper bien, ¿verdad? Entonces solo se requiere que usted esté aquí every day, ¿verdad? Entonces eso es como de lo, lo más, eh, de las cosas y de los requisitos más importantes es ese compromiso que usted adquirió Obviamente no solo con inglés corporativo, con su empresa, eh, con InstaForbes, sino que con usted, ¿verdad? Que usted dijo, bueno, sí es el momento para, para terminar de aprender este idioma, para perfeccionarlo, para pulirlo. Estamos aquí para ayudarle, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, pues se le agradece esa confianza que ha tenido y ese entusiasmo también, porque no es de cualquiera, ¿verdad? Pero si usted adquirió este compromiso, pues pues hay que seguir adelante, ¿verdad? Recuerde que es la obligación, es sumamente importante, es obligatoria estar acá todos los días del módulo, por todos los módulos que usted se inscriba, ¿verdad? Otra parte muy importante del curso o de nuestro programa es el trabajo en la plataforma. Hay compañeros y compañeras que ya vienen eh, formándose o aprendiendo o aprendiendo el idioma con nosotros de unos par de meses atrás, ¿verdad? Solo que era un programa diferente. Entonces, a estos compañeros, e igual me alegra mucho verles y tenerles conmigo nuevamente, ¿verdad? Pero sí informarles que este programa, de hecho, sí varía, y si sí, sí puedo decirlo, varía bastante, ¿verdad? Uno es el hecho de cuánto dura, la clase dura dos horas, y es de lunes a viernes, entonces sí sabemos ese compromiso. Yo veo a Normita ahí y a Williams que vienen conmigo anteriormente y dicen, ¿verdad? Porque antes era diferente. No, pues usted aproveche porque es mejor, ¿verdad? Ahora son dos horas que usted pueda, eh, pues, practicar el idioma. Se imagina que galán de lunes a viernes, usted dice, bueno, practico mi idioma, el inglés, 10 horas. Así es que, pues, nada, pues, bienvenidos y, y, y aceptar los cambios, ¿verdad? Y los retos de este nuevo programa. No sé si todos compañeros y compañeras ya recibieron la información de su plataforma, el acceso de la plataforma de aprendizaje. ¿Todos han recibido el acceso? Yes, teacher. Sí, yo sí. Ay, yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Very good. Muy bien. Yes. Otra pregunta que me lleva a esto. ¿Pudieron verla? ¿Les dio curiosidad para verla? ¿O fue que recibieron el acceso y dijeron, ay, más tarde? <risa> ¿O sí la lograron ver? Sí, sí. Sí, sí. Bueno. All the doors. Excelente. Eso me gusta, ¿verdad? Acuérdese que también es parte de su aprendizaje que usted esté como pendiente de qué se va a tratar acá y todo eso. Entonces, eh, igual se las voy a mostrar en un momento para que eh, explicarles cómo es la plataforma para los que, compañeros que nos eh, están con nosotros por primera vez. ¿Verdad? O los que vienen de diferentes maestros también, explicarles un poco mi metodología, ¿verdad? Y los requisitos, aparte de la asistencia, de que se uh, valga la redundancia, se requieren de su parte, ¿verdad? Entonces, con eso igual explicarles eh, mi metodología, voy a empezar por eso. Eh, todas las noches, pues, nos conectamos, yo estoy aquí con ustedes. La idea es trabajar la plataforma que está, la plataforma de aprendizaje que nosotros hemos creado para ustedes. ¿Verdad? Entonces, lo que hacemos es la, la clase o el tema que está en la plataforma es lo que vamos a ver y vamos a discutir en clase. ¿Verdad? Tenemos suficiente tiempo para hacer mucha práctica, que es lo que necesitamos ahorita, es como mucha práctica de speaking, puesto que usted ya no está principiante. Entonces, ya hay mucho que usted me puede decir, que puede compartir con sus compañeros. Y de eso se trata, de hecho, para que usted tenga como mucha práctica eh, del idioma, ¿verdad? Y perfeccione todavía lo que nos, nos falta en el camino. El, el programa es Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo. Y esa es una de las variaciones, oh, disculpe, esa es una de las variaciones del programa, puesto que hoy nos rige eh, unos manuales también eh, creados por Insafor, donde hay temas específicos relacionados a trabajo o relacionados a temas relacionados siempre al, al ámbito laboral, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, sí, voy, William. Entonces, es sí, como, como vemos, sí, gramática y todo eso, pero acoplada o acoplado a los temas que están dentro del manual, ¿verdad? Entonces, la idea es que usted me deje guiarle 
con los temas gramaticales para que usted los ponga en práctica en la vida cotidiana, laboral, que nosotros... Entonces hay unos temas súper interesantes. La idea es que usted sea parte de esto, ¿verdad? Para que todo salga súper bien. Eso es con, con la, en sí los, el, el programa, ¿verdad? Que es inglés para el trabajo. Y como les decía, mi metodología es esa. Vamos a revisar la plataforma, el tema. Yo se lo voy a presentar a través de una eh, presentación de PowerPoint o una imagen o un video. La idea es que exponerlo a usted a que lea, a que escuche, a que visualice, a que practique, ¿verdad? Entonces son dos horas donde si usted pone de su parte, esto pasa volando, ¿verdad? De repente van a ser las 9 y 45 y usted se tiene, ya nos vamos a ir y no terminamos, ¿verdad? Entonces eso es lo emocionante. Pero siempre y cuando usted esté dispuesto a aprender y a, a, a ser guiado, ¿verdad? Porque ese es mi trabajo aquí, es facilitarle el idioma, guiarle el idioma para que usted eh, lo pueda practicar y lo pueda perfeccionar. Eh, eso es con mi metodología. Luego, cuestiones generales, ya les decía yo, la asistencia obviamente, eh, se requiere por parte tanto de la academia, de Insaforp, de mi persona, eh, que las cámaras estén encendidas siempre por el hecho de que nosotros tenemos que verificar que sea usted, Williams Rodríguez, el que está detrás de la cámara, ¿verdad? Que no solo puso... Williams Rodríguez, pero está su primito o el sobrinito, ¿verdad? Que solo está encendido ahí, pero yo no sé si Williams está detrás de bambalinas. Entonces, sí necesitamos corroborar que sea Williams y dice Williams Rodríguez y es el mismo Williams Rodríguez que está todos los días, ¿verdad? No es como con una carita diferente de Williams Rodríguez. Entonces, de repente, ¿quién es? ¿verdad? Entonces, sí necesitamos que sus cámaras estén encendidas todo el tiempo ¿Verdad? Aparte, acuérdese que esta es una, una forma, una metodología diferente de dar las clases, puesto que estamos en línea esencialmente. Entonces, es importante esa conexión donde yo puedo ver su rostro, puedo ver eh, sus expresiones, de repente usted le hace así, y yo digo, ah, pues Guillermo ya me entendió, o de repente Erika así como, ah, y digo, pues Erika quizás no me ha entendido bien, entonces me es más fácil con verle su rostro y decir, ah, bueno, entonces vuelvo a repetir la instrucción o vuelvo a repetir la explicación porque Eric no, no, vi que Eric pues, puso la carita así como, mmm, no sé, ¿verdad? Entonces sí es, la, la, es una mejor forma de comunicarnos, entonces les voy a pedir a los compañeros y compañeras si nos pueden encender las cámaras siempre en la clase, en todo momento. Los micrófonos, así como están ahorita apagados, es lo ideal puesto que a veces hay mucha interferencia en nuestros hogares o, o desde donde nos estemos conectando. Obviamente, si yo le hago una pregunta o usted va a participar, que espero que participen mucho, puesto que es un nivel avanzado, usted puede encender el micrófono, ¿verdad? En cualquier, en cualquier momento tiene una duda o necesita que yo le repita algo, entonces con mucho gusto usted enciende su micrófono. Si usted sabe que en su casa o de donde nos sintoniza eh, no hay bulla, no hay interferencia, pues usted puede tener el micrófono encendido, no hay ningún problema. Pero de repente eh, hay, un, no sé, una bulla, se oyen las tortillas pasar o el pan o el carro o hay un perrito ladrando y a veces los míos, entonces voy a poner mi, mi, mi micrófono igual en silencio en un segundo, ¿verdad? Entonces eso, con eso, por favor, eh, los micrófonos, apagado si así fuese necesario, si no, usted lo puede tener encendido siempre y cuando no haya mucha interferencia. Entonces, las cámaras sí, si en caso, por ser primer día, usted no tiene una cámara disponible, háganmelo saber igual, ¿verdad? Para yo tomar las consideraciones del caso, no es que la voy a regañar o lo voy a regañar, pero es parte de los requisitos, ¿verdad? Es como que si estuviéramos presencialmente, usted no va a y va a ponerse una bolsita, ¿verdad? Para que nadie lo vea. Entonces, usted llega y yo lo veo y usted me ve, ¿verdad? Entonces, y hoy más que nunca porque estamos vía Zoom, vía online, entonces sí necesitamos esa fluidez, ¿verdad? Aparte es un nuevo idioma y es importante estarnos bien. Entonces, sí, espero que lo tomen a bien y que me hagan ahí, eh, que me ayuden con eso. Eh, por otra parte, solo mencionarles eh, la plataforma, los voy a guiar ahorita a la plataforma de aprendizaje para explicarles la la dinámica de la plataforma de aprendizaje para que usted se familiarice con ella. Voy a compartir la pantalla, ¿verdad? Para que usted pueda ver allí y es esto lo que vamos a estar viendo. 
Aquí estamos, inglés avanzado módulo 1, ahí tiene que estar. ¿Verdad? Si dice otro módulo, no es el que le corresponde, es este inglés avanzado módulo 1. Ahorita este es el más alto, así que ustedes son casi que, que se están graduando, ¿verdad? Así es que ánimo porque ya están más cerca de la meta. Entonces, igual eh, nuestros módulos o nuestros cursos están diseñados de esta forma. Hay cuatro secciones, sin embargo, se desarrolla en cinco semanas, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo va a ser eso? Ya le voy a explicar. Le voy a guiar por la sección 1, que es la primera semana, o sea, esta que estamos acá. Y está dividida por, eh, tenemos la videoconferencia 1, videoconferencia 2, 3, 4 y 5, o sea, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes. Quiere decir que vamos a ver ese tema que está ahí eh, hoy. Por ejemplo, Pair Conjunctions no, nos toca hoy. Mañana nos va a tocar Describe Benefits of Promoting Professional Development. Y así sucesivamente el miércoles, el jueves y el viernes, ¿verdad? Entonces, como les decía, eh, no es que no vayamos a ver gramática, sin embargo, vamos a ver temas donde podemos aplicar esa gramática, ¿verdad? Esa es como una de las grandes diferencias. Si se fija, después de la videoconferencia hay una tarea. Si usted le da clic acá y lo abre, abre la tarea, y solo déjeme que cargue acá, eh, tenemos acá la tarea, de hecho, cada tarea no es más larga de cinco preguntas. Muchas a veces solo son de cuatro. La mayoría son de multiple choice o falso y verdadero o correcto o incorrecto, ¿verdad? Entonces, pocas son las donde usted tiene que, que escribir. ¿Por qué son cortas las tareas? Por el hecho de que también entendemos que usted trabaja y ten tenemos pues, pues límite de tiempo o limitado el tiempo. Entonces, la idea es que usted ponga en práctica lo que ha aprendido, lo que ya sabe, ¿verdad? Entonces, es, eh, como bien decía Williams, las tareas se hacen casi que a diario. De hecho, usted tendría que hacer las tareas a diario. Por ejemplo, terminamos hoy la videoconferencia 1. Entonces, le invito que, tal vez no vayan a terminamos a las 10, pero si usted lo toma bien, pues hágala, no hay ningún problema, pero sí tiene que estar ya resuelta para el siguiente día. Los viernes, que es en nuestra última clase de la semana, eh, se espera que usted haya terminado las cinco tareas. Viernes en la noche, para que yo sábado, de, durante el día, yo voy a venir a cada, voy a entrar a cada una de sus plataformas y voy a tomar una nota, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa nota yo la reporto eh, para llevar una continuidad de su progreso. Entonces, si usted no ha hecho ninguna tarea, la, la nota me va a aparecer a 0% que no ha hecho ninguna, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí tienen que trabajar, eh, mi, la, lo mejor fuera videoconferencia dada, tarea realizada para que usted llegue al viernes y solo tenga que hacer la del viernes, ¿verdad? Y son 5 o 4 ítems, entonces no le va a tomar más de, no sé, quizás diciendo que es mucho. ¿Verdad? Para que yo ya el sábado pueda venir y reviso Norma Rivera, ¿verdad? Pongo el nombre de Normita y copio eh, la nota que Norma ya realizó, todas sus eh, tareas. Ahora, necesito que la nota, o ustedes necesitan que su nota alcance un 80%. Las tareas, déjenme explicarle, no llevan, no tienen límite de cuántas veces lo tengo que realizar, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted por alguna razón... En la primera no lo hizo bien la tarea por decirle y usted sacó, un, no sé, tenía tres malas y eran cinco, entonces obviamente sacó una nota muy baja. Usted lo puede volver a realizar. La idea es que usted se sienta cómoda y cómodo con lo que está haciendo. De repente uno lo hace y pues lo hice así, ¿no? Pero después de la explicación digo, ah, por eso era. Entonces yo puedo regresar a mi tarea y cambiar... Eh, ya las que digo, ah, pues ya entendí, entonces ya puedo hacerla y volver a hacer y obviamente mejorar mi nota. No hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? Sí les sugiero, como le digo, que vaya semana por semana, porque de repente vamos a ir por la videoconferencia 21 y usted dice, ¡Ah, voy a revisar la, la tarea 2, ¿verdad? Voy a, cambiar, voy a cambiar la respuesta y sí lo puede hacer. Obviamente me tendría que notificar para yo volverle a cambiar esa nota que usted había obtenido anteriormente, ¿verdad? Entonces sí es como mucha comunicación conmigo, de hecho ya estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp, espero que todos se hayan ya unido al grupo porque la comunicación es muy importante. 
¿verdad? De igual forma, si hay algo que en la plataforma usted dice, no, pero es que esto tiene que ser así, yo estoy seguro o segura, me lo hace saber, lo reviso y pues con gusto yo hago algún cambio, si tiene que haber algún cambio, si no le digo, ah, fíjese Gerardo, que yo creo que estaba escribiéndolo mal, ¿verdad? Por eso era el que le salía incorrecto, ¿verdad? Entonces, es así la, el uso de las tareas, así es que por favor, bien de hacer las tareas eh, a diario o al menos la mañana siguiente o antes de la siguiente clase. Luego, ahorita les voy a enseñar acá. Eh, cuando dice videoconferencia número uno, ahorita no vamos a encontrar nada, ¿verdad? Porque el video que hoy se sube es el video que nosotros realizamos juntos en clase. Entonces, cuando yo termine mi clase de esta noche, yo voy a subirla al canal de nosotros de la, de la academia y luego mis compañeros de la academia van a, a pegar el video en esta parte, ¿verdad? Usted no se preocupe que ahorita no sale ningún video, pues no habíamos tenido ninguna clase. Pero lo que lo, le quiero guiar es que abajo de cada video hay una parte de discussion o un foro. Entonces, hoy más tarde o mañana en la mañana, más tardar yo le voy a escribir una instrucción para que usted me escriba una oración eh, que yo le estoy pidiendo. Por ejemplo, vamos a ver pair conjunctions, el uso de not only but also. Entonces yo le voy a poner type a sentence using not only but also. Entonces yo mañana que revise, eh, voy a esperar a encontrar cuántas eh, participantes tengo. Ahorita yo tengo... 19 participantes, digamos que hay 18 porque 19 serían conmigo, entonces yo espero tener 18 oraciones. Es una oración por cada participante, no se preocupe que no espero un ensayo, no espero nada así grande, ¿verdad? Sino que es nada más una oración usando lo que acabamos de ver en clase. Entonces es una vía de comunicación para que usted siga practicando su idioma, ¿verdad? Si es obligatorio, se lo voy a decir que sí porque es para usted. ¿verdad? Entonces yo me voy a tomar el tiempo de revisar las oraciones y decir, ah, Norma, le faltó una coma. Eh, o oh, perfecto, Jennifer, no había ningún problema, super oración, muy bien el trabajo. O sea, sí vamos a ir revisando sus oraciones, ¿verdad? Porque es importante que usted sepa si tuvo un error o si no tuvo ningún error. Entonces las tareas, compañeros, es importante que ustedes las realicen y luego que formen parte y participen dentro de los foros. ¿verdad? Esto es dentro de la plataforma. Todo queda en nuestra plataforma para que usted se concentre en la misma y todo queda ahí registrado. Ya mañana, eso de las 10 de la mañana, el video de esta clase, de todo lo que estoy diciendo yo, va, perdón, va a estar grabado y va a estar acá pegado, digamos, dentro de la, de la videoconferencia número uno y así sucesivamente todas las otras videoconferencias que vayamos grabando. Voy a hacer una pausa ahorita, voy a dejar de compartir. Yo ya sé que ya hablé bastante. No sé si tienen una pregunta hasta ahorita. Si la tiene, hágamela saber, no hay ningún problema. Y luego sí. No, nadie. Estamos claros hasta ahorita de lo que se va a hacer, de lo que se requiere de ustedes. Sí. Yes, I want to try. Ok, very good. Okay. Uh, that's good, teacher. Excellent. Teacher, sí. I understand better. In the, in the first one, when you said a uh, video conference, I put uh, one uh, homework. But in the number 1.1 tarea, I put another okay. homework. Ahorita se lo, uh, okay, ahorita se lo comparto. Solo déjeme que cargue. Ok, la 1.0 norma es la videoconferencia. Es esto que va a estar mañana ya durante la mañana, va a estar el video de nuestra clase. Hoy no hay videos okay. que usted va a ver previo a la clase. Es el video que todos armamos, ¿verdad? Esa es una de las diferencias del otro programa. Luego, es la tarea que le va a corresponder a este tema, Norma, ¿verdad? Mañana va a ser la, el 1.2, el literal 1.2, pero la videoconferencia número 2. Y la tarea que le corresponde es esta norma. ¿Verdad? La es que, teacher, cuando yo abrí el link que dice videoconferencia número uno, uh -huh. ahí abajo hay un espacio para escribir ah, el, eh, como un comentario. Como un comentario. Uh -huh. 
Eso no hay que llenarlo, sí. Sí, eso es lo que les estaba explicando, que después... Pero de... eso es diferente de la tarea. Sí, es diferente de la tarea, exacto. Ah, ¿no? okay. Es como un Son plus, dos ¿verdad? cosas. Son dos cosas. Okay. La tarea y hacer la oración que yo le pido, por ejemplo, más tarde les voy a poner, para que ya mañana en la mañana les aparezca, acá les voy a poner, por ejemplo, type a sentence using not only but also. ¿Verdad? Acá sería okay. abajo. ¿Verdad? Entonces usted va a venir, Normita, y me va a decir, uh, y me escribe la oración. ¿Verdad? X oración que usted quiera. Y así va a venir Jennifer, así va a venir Jennifer, va a venir Williams y todos los demás compañeros escribiendo una oración. Para que haya una interacción entre ustedes, entre conmigo, ¿verdad? Y para que usted siga practicando pues lo que han visto en clase, Norma. Entonces sí, es tarea okay. y foro, digamos. Ok. ¿verdad? Ok. Gracias. Very good. Muy bien. ¿Alguien más con alguna pregunta hasta ahorita? Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Hi, teacher. Hi, ¿tiene pregunta, Eli? Hi. No, yes, yeah, teacher. Ah, ok. okay. No. Very good. It's ok. Thank um, you. you. No, you're welcome. Eh, otra, eh, otra algo muy importante, compañeros, es comentarles que todos los días yo voy a pasar dos veces lista, ¿verdad? Voy a pasar asistencia así tal cual como estuviéramos en el colegio, ¿verdad? Con lista en mano yo voy a pasar eh, viviendo o revisando que usted esté en clase, que es obligatorio que usted esté acá con nosotros. Entonces yo voy a mencionar su nombre. Cuando mencione su nombre, por favor necesito que me diga presente o present, como usted me quiera decir, pero que se oiga que usted está ahí. ¿verdad? Entonces, así corroboramos que usted se oye, se ve y está en mi papel, ¿verdad? En mi lista. Igual ese también eh, se pasa a todos los reportes, ¿verdad? Pertinentes que tenemos que llenar. La vamos a pasar dos veces. Una vez se va a pasar a las nueve de la noche. Todas las, a las nueve de la noche, cinco a las nueve, voy a pasar la primera asistencia. Y la segunda asistencia es un cuarto a las diez, ¿verdad? Entonces, son esas cosas que también cambian. ¿Verdad? Para los compañeros que estaban previamente en otros eh, programas, siempre con nosotros, esas son diferencias que antes no hacíamos, ¿verdad? Eh, pero hoy sí se va a hacer. Entonces, sí necesito eh, que usted esté y que me diga present cada vez que yo llame su nombre, ¿verdad? Eso sería. Igual necesito que cuando usted se registre, al igual que se registró ahora, necesito que ponga su nombre completo según DUI, ¿verdad? Esos son los requisitos que nos piden. Okay. Eh, desde Insaforp. Entonces, sí, por favor, en el caso de Elizabeth, eh, Elizabeth, si me hace el favor de no poner Alcatel 1, obviamente yo ya la conozco, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo sé que es Elizabeth, pero sí necesito que me escriba su nombre porque no puedo decir Alcatel 1 presente. Entonces, sí necesito que ponga su nombre mm. po, según tú y Eli. Si me hace ese favor, oye. Ok. Igual dice, todos. Por okay. lo general, eh, nos ponemos solo un nombre y un apellido, pero sí me están pidiendo y requieren que yo les informe que se pongan nombres según DUI. Y luego usted me va diciendo, no, teacher, me dígame, no sé, a, solo dígame Guillermo, ¿verdad? O de, a mí me gusta mi segundo nombre mejor, entonces llámeme Oscar, no me diga eh, Carlos, sino que Oscar mejor. Usted, eso es otra cosa, ¿verdad? Pero tal cual usted un DUI, sí se lo voy a agradecer que lo ponga así, ¿verdad? Si me hacen ese favor, eh, para, para llevar un mejor control y que se pueda verificar, ¿verdad? Que es usted el que está ahí, detrás de pantalla, ¿verdad? Entonces, no sé si tienen eh, preguntas, comentarios hasta ahorita. ¿No? Ok. Yo espero que sean calladitos ahorita porque es primer día y es la primera media hora, ¿verdad? Pero ya después que ya a mí no me dejen hablar nada, sino que sean ustedes los que hablen. Sí les voy a pedir de verdad que participen, este es un nivel avanzado y tienen que tomar ventaja de este tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces yo quiero oírles a todos y participando y tal cual, ¿verdad? Porque hoy sí es gramática, pero es más como, bueno, discutamos este tema. ¿Y usted qué piensa, Norma? Y Henry, what do you think? Moisés, what do you think? What can you tell me about it? What are the benefits? What are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? This topic, all right? So I really need you to put, like, um, to practice what you know, okay? Que sea así como activo en su aprendizaje, ¿verdad? Para que usted igual sienta que está practicándolo y está desarrollando y está mejorando. Pregunta. No? 
Mire que yo... ¿A dónde, sí, ¿a dónde vamos a...? Eh, me pareció escuchar como que tenemos que poner el número de Dewey y el nombre. ¿A dónde? Es, solo, solo su nombre, Oscar, no el número. Solo, solo su nombre, nombre de acuerdo a Dewey. Cuando usted entra, ah, okay. cuando usted entra a la plataforma, Oscar, usted puede poner el nombre completo, ¿verdad? Que, debe, que tendríamos que sí. tenerlo así. Entonces, ¿cuál es su nombre completo, Oscar? Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Ok, entonces usted tiene, cuando entra, usted tiene que poner Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores, ¿verdad? Entonces, si a usted le gusta que le digan Armando, pues me dice, teacher, dígame Armando, o Oscar okay. está bien, ¿verdad? Pero sí necesito no. por registro que lo que ingrese. Para los compañeros que entraron después, eh, mi nombre es Jessica Yvette Cerritos Chacón, ¿verdad? Eh, Jessica o teacher, como usted me quiera llamar, no hay ningún problema, Jessica Cerritos, ¿verdad? Para que usted sepa con quién está recibiendo las clases. Ok, eh, sí me gusta ser como bien enfática con eso de que si no tienen preguntas, porque yo sé que a veces muchos somos nuevos o de repente el programa es diferente, o de los temas, ¿verdad? Entonces, no tenga ninguna pena. Es más, yo necesito que me pregunten para, para que estén ahí activos en su aprendizaje, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, sin más, yo qué decir. Vamos a hacer gracias, Elizabeth. Qué linda, gracias. Eh, sin más que decir de mi parte ahorita, como no nos conocemos, ¿verdad? Bueno, la mayoría no conozco ahorita. Entonces, sí, quiero, quiero que me cuenten sobre ustedes. ¿Verdad? Pues su nombre completo, cómo quiere que yo le llame, si usted se llama, no sé, eh, Alfredo, pero le gusta que le digan Freddy, para yo llamarle como usted se sienta más cómodo. Eh, sus expectativas y cuénteme un poquito de su, de su nivel de inglés, ¿verdad? Cómo se siente con, con el nivel que está, ¿verdad? Para, para yo empezar a tomar nota y conocerles mejor. Okay, so enough from my side, I'm not going to say anything else anymore, so you can start like speaking. So, I don't know, volunteers to start speaking, guys, and you can start practicing your English. No volunteers, yo escojo entonces. Yes, I can. Yes. The top of... Hola. Uh -huh. I'm afraid. afraid. Who's afraid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. don't be afraid. Aha, okay. uh -huh. Williams, thank I'm you. Going. Yeah. Hi everybody, my name is Williams. I am work for Enlace and I am a coffee lover. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. So um I have 36 years. And uh, it's a pleasure to be here. I I want to to learn more about English from the teacher and from the the other students. Okay. Thank you, Williams. That's very nice. And I welcome you and I'm very happy to be with you again, Williams. Very nice. Okay, who's next? I'm Jennifer. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Yes, I'm Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. I work in Impression Apparel Group. Um, uh, auxiliary, engineering auxiliary. Okay. Um, I have a 50, 50, Oh, you are okay. And, uh -huh. Yes, and I have a, a I have a much um, in this moment I have a problem with my speak. Where you're speaking? Skill. Speak. Okay. Speaking, yes, and I mm. I try to learn more. Okay. In this course. And okay. advance in my speaking and, and listening. And listening. Very good, Jennifer. Well done. Thank you so much. Very nice to have you in class, too. All right. Who's next, guys? Me, teacher. Thank you, Diana. Good evening. Good evening. To everyone. Good evening. My name is Diana Gabriela Hernandez. Uh, what I like to be called Diana. Okay. I'm 34 years old. I'm a funeral director. Uh, and I, I I really love to read books, listening okay. to music, okay. and play with my cat. Okay. And that's all. I'm Very really nice. interested in, in uh, learning English because okay. it is a universal language. Of language. course. Yes, language, yes. All right. Thank you, Diana. Nice yeah. to meet you. Thank you. Very nice. Henry, Thank you're you. next. 
Yes, hi teacher. Hi. hi everybody. Well, my name is Henry Vladimir. I have, I am 32 years old. Okay. I work in the, the Camberon Salinita. Oh. I work as receptionist. Okay. Yes, I like, I like work here because I know the different people, like the different country. Right. My yeah. goal in, my goal in this school is I speak by my fluency. Okay. And um, learn it more. Excellent. Very good, Henry. Thank you. Nice to Thank have you. you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. All right. Who's next? Someone raised uh, their hand here. Let Hi, me see. Here. Okay. Hi, yes, teacher. go ahead. Gerardo and then Oscar, I think he said. Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Gerardo Daniel Gomez Rodriguez. You can call me Colocho. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I work in Intradesa. I engineer and I like to the sports and travel in our country. And I, I'm glad to be here with, with, uh, with, with you. Excellent. And that's all. Thank you, Gerardo. That's very nice of you. Thank you and welcome. Very good. Oscar, tell us about yeah. yourself, Oscar. Hey, hi, everyone. Um, call me Oscar. I'm Oscar Bonilla. Yeah, I'm 46 years old. I'm here to to improve my, my fluency and my speaking skills. All right. Um, I'm glad to be here. Excellent, Oscar. Thank you so much. Let me see. Um, Andrea Travanino and then Irene Lima. Okay. Hello. Good night to everyone. Uh, evening, my yes. name is Hello. Uh, my name is Andrea Travanino. Okay. I'm 28 years old. I am a, a marketing coordinator. Okay. I work at EXA and uh, I'm very happy to be here to, to improve my, my English skills. Excellent, yes. And to, to, to know new people and to, uh, to be more fluently. Excellent, <laughs> my, yeah, to be more fluent. Very good, Irene. I mean, sorry, Andrea. Yes, very nice. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Andrea. Irene? Sorry, uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. My name is Irene Lima. Don't call me Irene. Um, I work in an ONG with the mayor. I tell uh, to the mayor uh, to, to get um, uh, her, your first employer. Okay. I love it, my job. Very good. Um, I am they're three, eight years old. Oh, very nice. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Irene. Thank you. All right, Elizabeth? Me? Yes, Elizabeth, uh, of course. Hi, guys. My name is Eli, Elizabeth Salguero. Uh, I am 39 years old. Uh, I am single mother. I have two children. I am, no. I work in for radio stereo. I like to travel in, in no other country. Very um, nice. It's all about me. Uh, uh, I have two children. I have a boy and girls. Oh, um, nice. I like, no, I have pets in my home. Okay. I have a dog, I have a parrot. Okay. Um, nothing. All right, very nothing. good. Thank you, Ellie. It's well, all about me. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Elizabeth. Very good. Okay, so we have Silvia Villalta, Moises, Veronica, Eric, eh, Norma, Jose, eh, Cruz, Guillermo. Aha, uh -huh, guys. Who's next? All right, hey, Eric, teacher. thank you. Hey, teacher. E Eric can go first and then Guillermo. All right, thank you, Eric. Hey. Yes. Okay, good evening. My name Hi. is Eric Mauricio Paredes. You can call me Eric. Hey. I am 37 years old. I, am, I work at Banco Promerica. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I love reading all kinds of books. And, uh, well, I, I hope to, to improve my speaking skills on this module. Very 
Okay, good, Eric. Welcome. Thank you so much. Very good. Guillermo, what about you? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hi. My name is Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. I'm working in the Foundation of Orphan. Okay. And in, I am coordinator in this job. Oh, nice. And you can call me uh, Guillermo. Okay. And Thank yeah, you. I need practice, practice because uh, in my job, uh, only Spanish yeah. <laughs> all day. Right. In this moment, two hours practice English. Very good, Guillermo. And this is the best way to practice it here. All right. Thank you. Very okay. nice. Well, uh, you're, well, you're very welcome to be in class. Very good. Let's see. We have Jose Cruz. Who else? Um, yes. Hello, everyone. Hi, Cruz. My name. Hi. My name is Cruz Yesenia Maldonado. Uh, I am 33 years old. I work in Complejo Educativo Católico del Espíritu Santo, San Miguel. Oh. And I love the children. Excellent. And I, I would like to play with them, but in that moment, I, I don't have you can. a brand of fishing. Yes. Right, yeah. Um, my expectation for that course is improve my level of English, improve my grammar teach because I passed a TOEFL test, but I need to improve oh, all okay. that, that skill about English. Oh, very nice. Yeah, course, that, is, yes. that is the reason that I take that course for improve my level of English. To improve your memory. All right, very good. Now, Cruz, do you want us to call yeah. you Cruz or Yesenia or? How do you want us to call you? I like to call me Yesenia because ah. Cruz, I don't like the thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. So Yesenia, thank you, Yesenia. Very good. Let's see. I have Eric, Vero, Veronica. I also have Emma and Jose. Aha, uh -huh, guys. Hi. Hi, Eric. I am, I am Eric Diaz. Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. And my, I am 79 years old. Okay. And I work at a bank, Bandesal. Okay. And my expectative discourse is practice, practice, practice conversation because sometimes I can't express my idea. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Eric. And this is the perfect way to do it. All right. Thank you. Vero, eh, Norma. Me teacher. Excellent, Veronica. Tell us, yes. Good evening. I am Veronica Soto, but you can call me Veronica. Okay. I am public accountant. Okay. I work in a financial company. Oh, okay. I am very quiet. I, I need to improve my listening okay. and my speaking. Okay. I I like to, I like the foreign languages. Okay. In fact, nice. I study in French too. Wow, very and good, Veronica. Nice to meet you. Nice and I'm glad to be part, uh, to be part uh, about this program. Excellent. Very good, Veronica. Well done. Welcome. All right. I have Moises. I also have Norma. All right. Who Me else? Teacher. I have Sylvia. Yes. Me, teacher. Okay. Me, teacher. Jose, go ahead. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Hello, good evening, everybody. My mm. name is Jose Rivera, but you can call me Jose or Luis, whatever you want. Okay. I'm glad to be in this course, and I hope to improve my skill listening and speaking. Nice to meet you. Perfect. Nice to meet you too, Jose. Nice thank to you for you. being with us. Very thank nice. You. Moises, your turn now. Yes, uh, thank you. My name is Moises Eduardo Ala Roque. It's a pleasure to uh, be with you, okay. with all of you. My expectative for this course is yes. improve my, my uh, conversation skill and mm, the nice. listening. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Moises. Very nice. Norma. Good evening, everyone. Good I evening, Norma. Norma Recipe Rivera Rivera. And I like to say Norma. Okay. And I am industrial engineer and working in a manufacturing uh, enterprise. Industry enterprise. And yes. I I like it uh, study English with that group. 
I have uh, many course together and I en, enjoy in learning too much and I con I I like it to continuous improve my speaking and listening skills and I am try to give support for anyone in the homeboard and uh, in another thing here because the group is very close yeah. and support all them in order to uh, pass all the people in the course. Of course, yes. Thank you, Norma. So nice to have you in class yeah. again. Very good. All right, everybody. Silvia, did you say something? Silvia Villalta. Silvia? Silvia, Silvia? No, right? Did Silvia say something? No, right? Guys? Do you remember if Silvia participated? No, teacher. No, All right? Mm, you see, that's what happens. That I don't know if she's there. Silvia, are you there? <laughs> All right. So uh, maybe, guys, tomorrow, and Irene, you guys can turn on your uh, video cameras. That would be like very, very nice for you to do it. All right. So guys, it's very nice. Um, it's nice to meet you this way. All right. So thank you for letting me be part of this uh, goal and objective that you guys have to improve your speaking, your listening, and all the areas of improvement that you may uh, need or have when acquiring a new language. All right. So this is, remember that this is a long-term process. It's not gonna happen from day to night or from night to day. But if you are here every day, then you will be able to see your own progress, all right? And that you achieve that just by practicing. So whenever I have a, a question or a topic, I do expect from you to actually participate and take hands on on your own learning, okay? So with that being said, guys, and I don't know if you have any other question. Welcome, Nubia Araceli. Hi, Nubia. Can you listen? Can you hear me? Nubia, Nubia. All right. I don't know if she's there, but let, let, let's let's see if she can answer later. All right. So I don't know, guys. Uh, we're gonna begin the topic already. Yo sé que la primera clase es así. Me gusta Hello. tomarme el tiempo. Hi, Nubia. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? All right. So as I was saying, I like to take this time to get to know each other, to get to know you a little bit more. All right. Your names and everything. And where are you like, where are you like visiting us from or where you're like working at and stuff just for me to have a better like I don't know, background of yourselves, all right? Especially because we're not face to face. So that complicates things a little bit, but it's okay, all right? So I don't know if you have any, anything else before we actually start with this, guys. If you have any comments or anything that you would like to add or say, please feel free to do so. No, you guys are okay with it, yeah? All right. Okay. Just for you, because you guys uh, told me about yourselves. All right. I'll tell you about me again. Well, uh, besides uh, my name already, I already said my name. I'm Jessica Cerritos and I've been teaching for the last 22 years. So I began when I was like 20. All right. So I've been teaching for a while. I work in different places as an English teacher. All right. And we also create the platforms of English Corporativo, so we're like active on the learning process, all right? I'm married, I have three children, so just for you to know also a little bit about me, all right? I love to teach, all right, but I love to teach when my students participate, all right? So I hope you guys are a participative group, all right? So guys, we're going to begin. As I said, we're going to talk about um, pair conjunctions. I have the first question for you here. What are paired conjunctions? Who can tell me what paired conjunctions mean? What are they? I don't want you to tell me yes. examples. I want you to tell me what they are, what they do. Mm, paired conjunctions. Uh -huh. I mean, I mean, because I don't know, certainly. It's uh, two conjunctions. We use two conjunctions in a one sentence. Okay. But Two conjunctions join 
the meaning to the old sentence. Okay. Or okay. meaning meaning the the same meaning in two sentences joined with a a conjunction. Okay. All but right. in that mm -hmm. case, we use we will use a two, not one, not okay. only one. Ah, all right, Maybe. because they're pair conjunctions. Yeah, very good. Yeah, nice, Jennifer. Yeah. Thank you. Very nice. That's a very like uh, very good idea you got. Very good. What about the rest of you guys? When I say okay. pair pair conjunctions, uh huh. What what comes okay, to you for me? <laughs> yes, for me it? the pair pair conjunction is the the joining conjunction that you use for for join the two sentences. That sentence is contain rel related information. Okay. Can be for for example, boss and N is for including information mm. in one sentence. Perfect. One sentence include information for the another sentence. All right. That yeah. is for me. Pair conjunctions. Okay. Thank you, Jesenia. Yeah. Very nice. Nice idea. Very good. Someone else. <laughs> Someone else that can help me with pair conjunctions. What is it? Eric, any ideas of what pair conjunctions are? First time listening to that. Oh, uh, very nice. All right. You'll probably use it, Eric, but you may not know the name of it. All right. Nothing from the probably. other world. All right. Very good. Anybody okay. else? Andrea, what about in your case? Do you have any idea or what comes to your mind when I say pair conjunctions? Andrea? I'm not sure, but I think that it's like words that uh, has have to work together okay in in one sentence mm. and express like uh, expresses mm -hmm. expresses uh, two options mm -hmm. or something like that oh very nice interesting andrea very nice well said uh, hey i have two eric i have eric mauricio and eric diaz a ver eric diaz what do you think when we talk about pair conjunctions eric diaz what do you think to your mind um, I'm not sure, but I understand uh, you can use pay, pay, pay conjunction, use not only, not only uh, but also in, in informal context. Okay. Mm. Okay, interesting. All right, very good. One more. What about Moises, Eduardo? What do you, what do you say? What do you think, Moises? Moises Eduardo, what about uh, pair conjunctions? What comes to your mind? Maybe it's a uh, song, song word that can make two or uh, relate to two ideas. Okay. And this word connect the two ideas mm. in one sentence. Okay. Very nice. All right. Very, very well uh, said. That. that is what pair conjunctions are. We know that a conjunction, do you know fun boys, for, and, but, those uh, conjunctions that they are like one word. For example, I say, I like pizza and hamburgers. All right. Uh, I am late, but um, I don't care. All right. So those are conjunctions. All right. But when we talk about pair conjunctions, can you guys listen to me right now? Yes. Guys, can you listen to sure, me? Sure, sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Loud nice. and clear. Okay, thank you. Loud and clear. Thank you. So when we say conjunctions, we know that they're one little word. But when we say pair conjunctions, as what you guys said and described, they are in pairs. We're talking about two words, all right, or two conjunctions that join two sentences or two clauses, all right? So that's what we're going to be studying about today. I'm going to show you a PPT all right where they explain a little bit what they are and the ones that we're studying today are two all right like one two pairs all right the other ones that are on the ppt we're going to continue seeing them later on on the week all right so right now guys i'm going to start sharing my screen okay and then i'm going to show you the ppt i have for you okay just let me uh, have it open here Hold on, it's here. Okay, 
So here, guys, we have this, okay? So we have, I'm going to show you this. Okay, so co uh, correlative conjunctions or pair conjunctions. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Um, Andrea, can you read the first the first point, please? Where it says conjunctions are. Conjunctions are joiners or connectors. Mm -hmm. Continue. They join words, phrases, and even sentences. Perfect. Continue. We will learn about two types of conjunct conjunctions. Conjunctions. Mm -hmm. Conjunctions. Yes. Coordinating and correlative. Today's lessons, correlative. Okay, what is good. a conjunction? Excellent, very good. Thank you, Andrea. Okay, so this is pretty much what you guys said. Conjunctions are joiners, okay? They join two sentences. They, they connect ideas, okay? So it says there on the second point, it says they join words, phrases, and even sentences, all right? So in other words, they connect ideas, okay? When I say to you, for example, um, both my son and my daughter went shopping, right? I'm joining two people here. I'm telling you a little bit more about my daughter and my son that they went together, all right? So here, we're not really going to like go over to like the ones that I have here on the presentation, but some of them we're studying them today, okay? So here it says the next one, let's see. Um, Oscar, do you mind reading this, please, Oscar? Okay. Oops, sorry, Oscar, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. There, 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 sorry. <laughs> the most uh, common correlative conjunction pairs, they depend on each other and uh, one, one, one is never used without the other. Ah, can you stop Are, right there, Oscar? Oscar, can you give me a second? Okay. Thank you, perfect. Okay, this is very important, okay? The most common correlative conjunctions or pair conjunctions, they depend on each other, okay? So they can never be separated, all right? They have to be together for them to make sense. If you only use one or the first part of the conjunction, it's not going to work of the pair conjunction, okay? So they need to be in the same sentence, in the same idea, in the same... Uh, phrase with the same kind of words, all right? So they have to be there, all right? They are never used without the other one. So in other, one, in other words, you can see it as they got married and they can never get divorced, okay? They're always gonna be together forever and ever, all right? Now, when we talk about uh, correlative conjunctions or pair conjunctions, these ones are the most common ones, all right? Oscar, can you keep on reading, please? Okay, either or, yes. neither nor, not only, but also both and. Excellent, perfect. Okay, so these ones uh, are the most common ones. All right, either or, neither nor, not only, but also both and and, all right? Okay, now okay. here, can you guys read? Yeah. Guys, can you hear me? Uh, in this moment, a little. 
Yeah, I don't need that second because it's raining really hard here. It's raining hard. I need hard. the video. Put the video. Stop, stop. Hello. I'm gonna show Hello. you right now my assistant. Voy a tomar la, la asistencia ahorita, okay? Okay. 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 Okay, a ver. Nancy Elizabeth Larin Cap. ¿No está? Alirio Pérez Díaz. Eric Alirio. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernández. Presente. Thank you. Henry Vladimir del Cid. De Paz. Present teacher. José Luis Rivera Gutiérrez. José Luis Rivera. ¿No está José Luis? A ver, Moisés Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Present teacher. Present teacher. A ver, José Luis está ahí. Present teacher. Ok, very good. A ver, Moisés Eduardo Roque. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. I'm here, teacher. Present. Thank you. Cruz de Seria, Maldonado, Tejada. Cruz de Seria, Maldonado, Tejada. Present. Thank you. A ver, Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. Present, teacher. Andrea Marina Trabanino Alfaro. Present. Williams Alexander Rodríguez Arrieta. Present. Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Francisca Irene Lima, Lima Hernández. No. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Present teacher. Jennifer Carolina Acosta Bonilla. Present teacher. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Okay. Here I am. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. Verónica Lisset Soto Serna. Present teacher. Lubia Araceli Cortés Amaya. Here teacher. Silvia me dijo que estaba por ahí, Silvia.
eh, la compañera Nancy Elizabeth Larín Chávez. Ok. Uh, guys, I'm sorry, but by my house it rains. Really, you have no idea how hard it rains. All right, so I'm gonna try my best for you guys to be able to see. Okay. All right, so we were on the uh, PPT. I'm gonna put it back again. So if you guys can like help me read, that would be very nice. Williams, can you continue reading please, Williams? Yes. Not only, but also. Not only well, but also blue match goal. She got the highest score in not only match, but also reading. Both and. He won in both the child and the adult rights. Both radio and television are distracting. Thank you, Williams. All right, so here we have not only, but also, and we have both and. Those are the pair of conjunctions we're going to be studying today, okay? The other two, we're going to study later on, okay? So these ones right now are the ones that I want you to pay attention to. Not only red, but also blue matches both. She got the highest score in not only math, but also reading. He won in both the child and the adult race. Both radio and television are distracting, okay? So here, these are the uh, two pairs of conjunctions that we're going to be studying, okay? Do you have any questions right now about not only, but also, or both and and? Or you're okay with it? Guys, do you have any questions about it? I'm okay. You're okay. You're okay? All right, very good, yeah. okay. So you see, Eric Mauricio, uh, this is not nothing new, right? You use this already. But when we sometimes when we mention names, like grammatical names, we're like, what is that, right? But you know this, okay? Very yes. good, yes. excellent. All right, so Hi. I'm gonna take you guys, I'm gonna stop sharing this right now. All right, so I'm gonna go back here with you guys. I'm gonna stop sharing this. Okay, so here we have the other one. All right, not only, but also this is the first one that we're going to work on, okay? Okay. So what I want okay. you to do, um, in the platform, guys, we have a tool where I can send you to group. Okay? Just like if we were in a in a normal class, I can send you to groups and I can go and check your progress, okay? So what I want you to do right now is I want you to make sentences using not only but also with your peers, okay? So for example, okay. I am working with Oscar and Oscar and I, we're gonna think about, I think about two sentences, Oscar, and you think about other two. So together we're okay. gonna come up with four sentences. Right now, only using not only, but also, okay? Then we're going okay. to come back and then I'll tell you what to do. So right now, guys, what we're going to do, I'm gonna send you to your, um, to your groups. Please accept the invitation and then be patient because sometimes, especially now that it's raining, Sometimes some people have problems connecting, okay? So it's really difficult for us to like listen to you guys, all right? Or to accept mm. the, the uh, invitation right away. 
So be patient and wait for a little bit. I will be entering and going like group by group to see how are you, how you're doing. Not only, but also right now, okay? Okay. So here we're gonna, I'm gonna send you right now to your groups. There's gonna be a couple of groups with uh, three people, but that's okay. So if we are like working three together, I come up with two sentences, Irene with other two, and then Oscar with the other two, all right? All right. Thank you. All right. There you go, guys. You can open your groups now. All right, Norma, Guillermo, Diana, did you did you see the group? Yes, teacher, I, I. Jennifer, what happened, Jenny? Did you get the invitation, Jenny? Yes, but not appearing in my in my uh, screen. Oh. Let me see, Jennifer. You're supposed to be working with Eden. I'm gonna move you to another group right now, Jenny, okay? Okay. Check now, Jenny. Yes. Excellent. Oh, hi, Guillermo. Yeah, yeah. I know it's raining a lot. Do you live in Santa Ana? I study, I study, I study English, but also I study French. Can you hear me, Irene? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm reading you with difficulty. Uh, what did you say, Irene? Okay, okay, I see. Let me tell you that. They uh, have to say, Okay. Working at the at the airport is uh, not only exciting but also uh, relaxing. Do you hear me? I just, I'm reading you with difficulty. I cannot hear you at all. At all. Hi, Oscar. Hi, Hi Irene. 
It's raining cats and dogs <laughs> everywhere. Ajá. Ya, ya. Oscar, so you work at the airport? Yes, I do. Ah. Yes, I do. Right now at the airport and it's not raining here. Oh, yeah. All right. So you live in San Luis Talpa, no? No, I live in San Salvador. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Okay. I commute. I commute. Right. Every day. Every day. Oh, but it I could see a thunder a... like right behind you. There was a big lightning, a huge lightning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's raining uh, north from, from uh, the airport. All right. Ah, okay. Yeah. I can see it's raining. Let me check home. On, over Santa Ana, uh, La Libertad, Santa Tecla. Really? Oh, uh, uh -huh. ah. We have like a like a weather. I have to say screen. Our oh, screen here. Ah, cool. So you're in the office the, right now, Scott. Uh huh. Ah. I'm at the tower. I work at the control tower. Oh my goodness, that's so interesting. Yeah, it is. It is. Very nice. But uh, it's, it's, uh huh. It's a, but what about place. right now? There are not many flights right now, huh? No, no. We uh, maybe the the we have a uh, maybe twenty five percent of the right. normal flights right. per day. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Only so twenty five. <laughs> yeah, we're just attending the military right. uh, cargo. Right. Humanitarian flights. Right. Yes, I heard. Yeah, I get not, it. Not passengers. Right. No, not, not passengers. passengers. No. And that's gonna be like uh -huh. that for a while, huh? <laughs> well, we don't know. We don't know yeah. for sure. Right. We're, okay. we're, we're waiting. I right. hear that Irene told me uh -huh. she's in Santa Ana. And oh. As you said, uh, there there is raining cats and dogs. I know there. it's raining cats and dogs, and it usually it rains like that here. <laughs> Oh my well, God! Are you in San Salvador? Yes. No, I am in San Salvador, but I I live right under the Planes de Renderos, so it's very uh, rainy all the time, and it rains like yeah. I don't know, like it will never stop. <laughs> oh, I yeah. see. It's uh, it's raining on Loma Larga and all those places near okay. to Los Planes. All right. Yeah, you see. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, I'm gonna finish with Irene. Maybe you can listen to her a little bit and then I'm going to go check in other rooms, okay? Okay. Thank, Thank you, you, Oscar. Nice talking to you. I, uh, hi, I Diana. Hi, Vero. Hi, hi. hi girls. How are you doing? Mm, we are, Did you finish we are the synthesis? Doing... Yes, of course, right? Yes. Yeah, let's yes. see. Diana, can you tell me one of your sentences and then Vero? Okay. Uh, I was uh, telling Vero that uh, I, I broke up with my boyfriend, not only because he forgot my birthday, but also because uh, he didn't give me a present for, my, for Christmas. <laughs> That's a perfect, that's a perfect reason, Diana. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. All right. What about Vero? <laughs> Um, I think we can use not only, um, but also if, uh, for example, not only work, but also study. Or for example, when we are doing a comparison, for example, uh, Diana is uh, a smart, not only is a smart girl, but also it's a beautiful girl. Super, very good, Veronica. Very well done. I'm just gonna go check in one more group, Diana and Vero, and then we're coming back to the main, main session, all right? Okay, thank okay. you, teacher. Thank you, no, thank, thank you. you. Very nice, thank you. Uh, hi, Williams, hi, Jennifer, hi, Sylvia. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. All right. Hi, Sylvia. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> okay. So, the, uh, good. These are the sentences that you guys came up with? Yes. Yeah. All right. Not only we need 
learning English, not only we need to learn English, but also we need to, to practice learn. more. To learn and to practice more. Okay, teacher. Very good. All right. And then not only fish is a healthy food, but also chicken, barbecue, too. <laughs> barbecue chicken, switch it. Barbecue chicken, very good. Okay. Not only not only read magazines but also read books and newspapers mm, okay how can we improve that sentence sylvia or jennifer or williams how can we improve that sentence um i get the first sentence okay but what about number three I, I have a little problem with that one how can we improve it together okay not only to read magazines it's interesting maybe not only to read magazines. Ah, okay, the compliment. But yeah, so, yeah, because it sounds yeah. like I'm still missing an idea here. Okay, not only to read magazines is interesting, but also to read books and newspaper. Yes, I think that sounds better, Williams. Very good. Okay. And okay. the last one, not only water is necessary to earth, not to the earth, only to earth. Okay. Okay, but also... To earth. But also... Uh, not only what is necessary to, um, but also for people, but also, people. I'm thinking about it. Ah, not only water is okay. necessary to. to earth or for earth, but also for people, uh -huh. for earth and for people. Sounds better. Okay. For. Yeah. Silvita, su cámara no le funciona, Silvia. Creo que no me escucho. Ahí está. Ah, Silvia, hola, yeah. Silvia. <laughs> Hi, Silvia. Lo había olvidado. No, that's okay, Silvita. Very good. Más que, mire, que con esto de la lluvia no oí cuando pasé su nombre. Y no sé si usted me escuchó. Pero... No. No, teacher, no sé si le, le comentaron en la administración, yo comenté que justo que iniciamos esta semana, yo el jueves termino un curso de la universidad y termina a las nueve. Entonces lo que me dijeron es que me conectara. Claro. Y que después que termine allá, me pasara con ustedes. La cosa es que no perdiera. Así me dijeron. Entonces, sí, no, perfecto. No, no Silvia, no, no hay ningún problema. Eh, pero gracias por comentármelo a mí también para yo recordarme, ¿verdad? Entonces se va a estar conectando a las nueve, Silvia. Entonces, exacto, de nueve. Me dijeron que me conectara desde las ocho, pero que sí. yo le dije, yo a partir de las nueve podría participar. Ah, ya le entendí. Todo, sí, ya, ya, ya. Ok, no, perfecto, perfecto, no problem. Solo, solo, solo sería hasta el jueves, ya, okay. el viernes y la otra semana. Ya, Chivísimo. Ya. Ok, perfecto. No, Silvia, gracias. Very nice. Ok. Guys, very well. I'm gonna, we're going to go back to the main session, okay? Okay. Thank Hi. you. That was very nice of you. Thank you, too. Hi, guys. All right. Hi. Hello, hello. Welcome Hi. back. Very nice. Were you able to um, share your sentences with your classmates? Yes? You were able to finish? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Let's see. Moises, can you tell us one of your sentences that you share with your classmates, please? Yes. Uh, not only pupusa, but also hamburger <laughs> are served in this restaurant. Oh, are served in this restaurant. Very good. Eric, Mauricio, what do you have for that one? Any other example? Eric, Mauricio, your microphone is off. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> um, um, my sister is very good, not only listening, but also speaking in English. Excellent. Very nice. All right. Very nice. Eric Diaz, what do you have for that one? Uh, my example. Uh, uh, mm, Tell me, please. Sorry. That's okay. I can. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure, but you correct me. Yeah, of course. Yes. Tell us. 
both English online and present pre presential class uh, are in compare. Compare. Okay. Is correct? Um, I'm not sure if I'm listening properly, Eric. Maybe, do you want to type it on the chat so we can see? Eric, can you do okay. that for us? Thank you. All right, someone had their hands on uh, up. Someone had their hands up. It was a girl. Both English online, a presential class, a presential mm -hmm. class, I can compare. Oh, Eric, very good. Okay, but you're using both and and already, all right? But that's okay, that's okay. All right, right now we were just trying to do not only but also. But that's okay, Eric, that's fine because you already like, you advanced on the, on the task, all right? That's okay. It's okay, no problem. All right, someone had their hand up. I saw uh, uh, no, Henry. No, no, no. Uh -huh. Henry, tell us. Yes. Uh, uh, my example. Yes, please. Not only volleyball, not only volleyball but also here play football. Excellent. Very nice. Um, not only boys, but also girls play football. Very nice. Let me see who yes, has. Thank you. Yeah, I like your sentence. All right. As your okay. sentence, please. Okay. Not only water is necessary for Earth, but also for people. Excellent. Very nice. Someone else? Andrea, can you tell us your sentence, Andre? Okay. Uh, I not only love volleyball, but also I love run. Excellent. I love to run. Or I to love, run. Yeah, track and field. Very good. Nice. Nice sentence. I like that. Yesenia, what about your sentence, Jesse? Okay. And then My brother know. not only great a boot, but also win the context. Oh, my My goodness. brother not only great the boot, okay. but also win the context. Oh, okay. Okay. Not only writes, uh, writes books. Very good. Interesting. Irene, what about your, your sentence, Irene? Yes. Okay. Very nice. Excellent, Irene. Very good. And Oscar, can you tell us your sentence? And then Guillermo, I want to hear your sentences too. Okay, it's, it's staying at home, uh, at home in quarantine is not only boring, but also annoying. <laughs> oh my goodness, Oscar. <laughs> All right. I'm right. just kidding, but it's a sentence. <laughs> yeah, of it's course. Sentence. Yeah, that's okay. Great. It's Thank you. <laughs> Guillermo, in your case, your sentence, please. Okay. Here you go inside or you go outside, you can stay in this way, in the pickup. All right. Can you, can you say it again, Guillermo, for us, please? Okay. Here you go inside or you go outside. Okay. You can Guillermo, stay that's... a bit the... Right. Guillermo, that's a, a very nice sentence. You only say you right now we were trying to use not only but also all right but that's okay because we're going to study this uh, this week anyway so that's okay don't worry about it it's fine uh nuvia hi nuvia nuvia araceli can you hear us hola teacher hola nuvia Hello. how are you hi that's okay a ver nuvia can you tell us your sentence please okay not only boy, but also girl play football. Oh, yeah, very good. That's the same one as the other. Yeah, but you were working together, right? Very nice. Thank you. Nice sentence. Mm. Let's see. Gerardo, what do you have, Gerardo? My sentence, uh, the car not only is economical, but also feels good to drive. Oh, nice. Very good. Nice. Uh, Elizabeth, can you tell us your sentence? Yes, teacher. I want to improve, but not only speaking, but also listening. Oh, okay. Okay. I want to improve not, not only speaking, but also listening. Very good. Jennifer, what do you have? And then Norma. Okay. Or Normita? Yeah. yeah. Go like, ahead, Norma. Yes. I like cook and wash the dishes. 
Can you say it again, Norma? I like cook and wash the dishes. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, Norma, sure. But uh, remember that we're trying to use not only, but also. So you can say not only I like to cook, but also wash the dishes, right? So we can like adapt it to the uh, their conjunction. Very good. It's okay, Norma, thank okay. you. Jennifer? Yes, not only love my sisters, love to my sisters, but also love to my brother. Okay, all right, very good, Jennifer. Just remember that you don't need uh, not only I love my sister, but also my brothers, okay? So that's nice, thank you. Uh, did okay, everybody, did everybody, you. Jose, what about Jose? Tell me your sentence, Jose. In this course, not only improve my speaking, but also grammar. Perfect. Nice sentence. I like your sentence. Perfect. Okay, guys. So I'm going to continue sharing my presentation here. And this is what we're going to do right now here. Hold on. I'm going to move this one here. That's okay. Okay. So now, guys, we're going to use this one. All right. When we talk about, um, hold on. When we talk about this, uh, both and and, all right? So we say, for example, we use both and together to emphasize people or things. Both Anne and Jane like math, all right? So that's what, that would be like the very short explanation on when or how to use both and all right together to emphasize to people or things in this case who are we talking about hmm? who are we talking about we in the use. sentence we use. Anne and jane that's Anne right jane. we're talking about Anne, Anne and, and jane. jane there you go all right so we're talking about two people all right so that's what we're going okay. to be working on right now i'm gonna show you uh here for example, it says both Jill and her sister are on holiday. That's the one that we had here. I spoke to both Anne and Sally. So I'm, I'm telling you that I spoke with two people, Anne and Sally. My new flat uh -huh. is, is larger than my old one and closer to my office. So again, we're using the two the pair conjunctions, both and 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 we're joining the sentence okay or the last example it says they need both as forget the nine and ten they need both a space and expensive equipment okay so in that case remember that we have to use both and when we are using uh when we're talking or referring to two people to two places to two things all right so we're like joining the whole idea together all right yes do you have any questions about both and and here guys do you understand the short explanation is not very complicated but it's for you to understand no problem no okay all right no no problem no problem here, here we go i'm gonna show you this just let me get it ready for you okay I'm going to play this for you. So you guys, we uh, do the, some a short listening right now with the explanation, okay? So it's nothing complicated. I just want you to pay attention to this. I'm going to share the audio so you guys can listen to it, all right? Imagine that you're having breakfast at a local restaurant. Hold on, just give me one second. I'm just going to put it since the very beginning, that would help. Imagine that you're having breakfast at a local restaurant with a close friend. You place your order with the waitress, and when it arrives, you exclaim, this has not only eggs, but also bacon. You've just used two connecting terms to explain the equal parts of what's on your plate. In the context of this lesson, these connecting terms are considered a correlative conjunction. A group of words used to connect or join balanced words or phrases, such as not only, but also. When using not only and but also in constructing a sentence, there are three rules you want to keep in mind. Rule number one, the sentence must present two pieces of information. 
Rule number two, the first piece of information should come after not only, and the second piece of information should come after but also. Rule number three, each piece of information must use parallel or equal structure, or the same parts of speech for each piece of information. For example, by comparing nouns to nouns and verbs to verbs. Let's take a look at some examples of how to use not only and but also in a sentence. She not only likes broccoli, but she also. All right. So if you notice there, guys, they're talking and they were telling you three rules, all right, that you have to know how to use, okay? Stop it here. All right. So they're telling you about not only, but also. Were you able to listen to the short video? Girls, yes. yeah, you were yes. able to listen, yes. all right? Yes. So remember that they, they, they not only join sentences, but they have to join the same type of part of a speech, all right? So that's important for you to keep in mind. So I, what I want you to do right now, guys, I'm going to show you this. And what I want you to do is I want you to take a picture of this, all right? We have some exercises okay. here. Can you please take a picture of this? There are 10 sentences, okay? And when I send you okay. to you, take a picture or a screenshot, and then when you are about to go to your groups, what you're going to do is you're, you're joining them with not only, but also. We're not working right now. This exercise is not about both and. We're working with or using not only, but also. So if you notice, you have two sentences in one and you have to join them using the uh, pair conjunctions. Were you able to take the picture, guys? Yeah. Yes. Everybody? Yeah, everyone. Excellent. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now, you know what I'm going to do? I need to take attendance again, but I don't want to interrupt your group. So I'm going to take the attendance right now again. All right, remember that I told you how to take it twice, and when I finish taking the attendance, you can go to, uh, back to your groups, okay? So let me just get this ready for you, and uh, please say present just like you did before. Now it's going to be better because it's not raining cats and dogs. Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavez. Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. Present. Thank you. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. Present. Henry Vladimir del Cid Tepas. Present. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Presente. Moises Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Jesse. Se desconectó un ratito, a ver. Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. Andrea Marina Trabanino Alfaro. Present, but it's Maria, no Marina. Ah. Nice. A ver, María. Thank you. All right. Williams Alexander. Thank you, Andrea. Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Whoops. Okay. Present. All right. Ah, uh, ya yeah, me había abrido. <laughs> eh, let's see. Uh, Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Okay. Um, Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Present. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Present. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Me. Thank you. <laughs> Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. Present. Calicet Soto Serna. Present. Nubia Araceli Cortés Amaya. Nubia Araceli. Present. 
Nubia Araceli. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nubia. A ver, um, y Jesse, ¿qué se nos hizo, Jesse? Okay, very good. All right, guys, so here, los voy a mandar al grupo again, so you can practice and solve your problem, and your exercises okay. right now, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're gonna keep on working with the same person you were working before. Hi, Diana. Hi, Jesse. Ah, Jesse, vuelve a entrar. Hi, Jesse, me escucha. Yesenia, me escucha. Diana. Jesse, me escucha, Jesse. Ah, oh, there you go. Jesse. Tengo problemas del audio. Del audio. Ah, muy bien. Y yo pasé, pasé la lista, pero, pero ahí estaba, ¿verdad? Jesse, ya, ya, aquí está presente. Muy bien, Jesse, gracias. La voy a mandar al grupo. Oye, Jesse. Hi, Eric. Hi, teacher. Hi, Eric. Are you working by yourself? <laughs> I, I'm alone here. Forever alone? No, I don't yes, think yes. so. <laughs> I'm going to send you to another group, Eric, right now, OK? OK. okay. Thank you, Eric. Perfect. So Yeah. I'm going to send you to here. All right. Hold on, Eric. Give me a second. All right, there you go. Okay. Junction uh, or 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 we can use uh n both and n only both n. and n mm. uh, no, no, on the first one right now on the exercise we're using only uh, not only but also Norman Eric okay ah okay not only there are problems with the children but also there are problems with the Excellent, parents. yes, Eric, very good. The, the, those two, those 10 sentences, Eric and Norma, are only, not only, but also. All right? Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you. And the second one, kicking my people out. He can make people fight. Oh, not, not only he can make people out, but also he can make people cry. Mm. Let me one moment. I try to okay. write it. But also in winter. Did you hear? Can you hear me, Irene? No, not very well, but... Okay, but uh, I said we visit our grandfather's house 
not only in summer, but also in winter. Perfect, very nice. Okay, the next one is... Uh -huh. She, she not only can dance, but also sing. Yeah, that is that is correct. And we it's can okay. also both and okay. Number five, it is um not only just. But also, not, but, mm -hmm. uh, not only, but also. <laughs> but also too, yes. Yeah. And number six. She can dance, she can sing. Both, Both. she can dance Both. and Silvia, she can Jen sing. Silvia, Jennifer and Williams, for this yeah. exercise, for these 10 sentences, right now you're only supposed to use not only, but also. On... At all? Only, not only, but also, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> yes. Uh, so we are going to put in order. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, you I, I don't know. Join, I, I, I mean, what you have to do is you have ah, to join. Just uh, transform the sentence. That's right. Then you join not only, but also. Huh? Mm -hmm, that's right. Yes. Okay. That's okay. right. Okay. <laughs> all the sentence, the 10 sentences? Yes. I mean. The ones that yes. you can work on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> ah, I don't okay. think so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you may try, William, all right? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, yes. So. <laughs> Not only... She can sing. She can dance. She, she, she can, can sing. Ahí pues she podemos dance. usar not also, she, not also dance, she not only, but she oh, can sing. She not, Está fácil esta porque en el principio usamos she el not only, only. Uh -huh. she not only can dance, but she can sí. also sing. Sí. Sí. Hello, teacher. Sí. Hi. She can Hi. dance. What number are you working in now, right now, Jose? Not only. I working in the exercise. That mm -hmm. is, it's correct that, that the dance. The, not only. the sentence. Eh, what she number? Not only are you on? What number are you working on right now, eh, eh, Jose? In this moment, mm -hmm. we are working number six. She can dance. She can sing. All right. Tell me the sentence again. You sing not only but also. She. She not only can dance, but also she can sing. All right, or you can omit it, uh, Jose. You can say, not only she can dance, but also sing. Ah. Omit that she can, because then it would be repetitive, all right? Ah, okay, thanks. So the, the idea, Jose and Elizabeth, to use uh, uh, pair conjunctions is that you can omit mm -hmm. some part of a sentence so it sounds more mm -hmm. fluent. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay, the other example is they need food and they need medicine. Mm -hmm. You want you can try a little bit? Yes. Okay. Teacher, I I I turn on the I turn off the the camera because in the teacher, my house yes. the the sign already is bad, I, so I have to move to different place. Uh, okay, Jose, that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> because oh. it it, it starts to rain. I know so it's horrible raining. I know, I know, I understand. That's okay, Jose. Don't <laughs> worry about it. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Better. That sounds better. The, not only there are problems with the children. Not only there are problems. Yes. Ah. With the children. You change, you change the, the word because the beginning I put there are problems not only. Yes. 
but sounds better if we put uh, the, no, no the conjunction at the first. Uh -huh. At the first. Uh -huh. yeah. Not only there are problems with the children, but also with their parents, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, interference. Right. Mm -hmm. In the other sentence, change too. Which because one? in the other sentence, the second se sentence, I put, he can not only make people loud, but also make people cry. Okay, I, let me see. Uh, not only he can, he can make people laugh, uh, but also make people cry. That's right. Okay, I change, okay. No problem. Mm -hmm. What number are you the working test. on, guys, or you're just checking? Just checking. Um, In this moment, I, uh, you're checking. So you finished. I have a doubt. Aha, uh -huh, Eric, tell me. Um, which, which is the difference is I said um, not only they need food, but only need medicine. Or if I said uh, they not only need food, but only need medicine. If the I think it sounds better if you say not only they need food, but but also medicine. Okay. Mm -hmm. First is always the conjunction. Yeah, usually. Usually, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, the way we're learning them right now, Eric, is it should be at the beginning. All right. Not only they need food, but also need medicine. Always okay. put in the beginning, no only. Right now, we're going to deal with them like that, Henry, like no, at the beginning right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Okay. We're almost Thanks, finishing. Teacher. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm going to go check in a couple of more groups, and then we're going back to the, to the main session, okay? Okay. Okay. Any word? Okay. Don't anymore. She not only was upset, but also she was angry. Okay. Not only she waited the day of church, but, uh, but also they are cold and dark. Okay. Hi, Norma. Hi. Hi, teacher. Uh, we had a question, teacher. Yes, Norma, tell in me. The, in the case of the, for example, uh, the number 10 uh -huh. uh, oh. said not only in the winter the days are short, mm -hmm. but also are cold and dark. But also I cold and repeat, dark. I don't, I don't repeat also again. Ah, oh, yeah, no, in that case, no. No. <laughs> yeah. Is, is the same? Right, for yes. The another, uh -huh. For the number, uh, the number, let four. me see, four the one. number four. Uh -huh. I sent him many letters. Only, yeah. I sent him many letters, but, but also, also try. Also try to telephone him. That's try, right. Uh -huh. Yeah. You don't need to repeat also twice, Norma. Okay. All right. Thank yeah. You. In that, you would just use it once. I mean, as in like, but also, right? And then, yeah, but you only use it once. Okay, okay. but I, I use it the article I. The, the, the subject. subject. I sent him, I, not only I sent him many letters, but also try to telephone him. No, you omit it also, eh, Norma. No. The idea, the, you omit I and also. Ah, both. the both. Mm -hmm. Okay. The idea, remember that the idea of using pair conjunctions is to join sentences with less words. All right, so it sounds okay. more native, right? Okay, uh, teacher, I know we make a to, uh, change the, the number nine. For uh -huh. example, she said, not, not, not only, only she was angry, she was upset, angry. but... Uh -huh. But also, but also she angry, was upset. upset. No. Uh, Did you switch it? Uh, I guess. Yes. Can be. Yeah. Sure. I mean, in that case, 
you're saying exactly the same thing. Maybe you're putting more emphasis on the first one or not, but it's the same thing. You're saying the same thing. It's okay. Okay. Good. okay. All right. Very good. We're going to go back in one minute. All right. So um, I'm going to see you in the main session. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Ok. Ok, es mejor aclararlo. <risa> o sea que eh, en hispanis, eh, cuando usamos el no, not only but also, no hay diferencia entre la primera sentencia y la segunda. Solo ah, que digo si que, son, no, digo que, tú, que tú pones primero en la que quieres hacer un, un como énfasis, fuerza, ¿eh? una énfasis. Uh -huh. O tú quieres remarcar algo. Esa es la primera que usa. Ah, no solo. All right, guys. Uh, we're about to finish the first session, all right? So, uh, tomorrow, when we come in, we're going to start checking the answers, okay? Now, before I go, or before we go, I just want to show you this. This is your manual. Remember that these manuals that we're using or these booklets, they are on your platform. Ahí los puede descargar. ¿Verdad? Esta es, eh, hoy nos tocó ver la página 11 de donde sacamos este tema de acá. ¿Verdad? Mañana, que sigamos un poco okay. con esto, vamos a poder hacer el ejercicio. Acá, ellos le están diciendo that we can use not only, but also in this uh, type of Explain or in this explanation, they are using not only at the beginning, all right? I'm saying that that is the only way to do it, but what I'm telling you is this is the way we are teaching them right now, okay? So, uh, just for you to know, es desde, es desde aquí, desde manual, donde nosotros, o en mi caso, yo saco la información para que usted podamos desarrollar la clase. Mañana, nomás entremos, I'm gonna, we're, we're gonna share the answers of the exercise we just worked on, okay? And then we're gonna talk about a different topic. But okay, also you okay? So okay. guys, it was very nice to meet you. Thank you so much for being with me. I hope to see everybody tomorrow. Please work on your homework, on your tarea. And más tarde o mañana en la mañana, publico el foro para que usted pueda también escribir en el mismo. Okay, Williams, usted ya sabe cómo se funciona esto. Williams, thank you so much. Thank I'll you. see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.